letting her know that it's man to woman. This is something that a lot of guys have trouble doing. It's like going up and actually letting the girl know that they're attracted to them. Letting the girl know that they actually like the girl. Okay? Why? Because you're conditioned not to. What happens if you're a kid and people find out you're attracted to a girl? Say you're in school, like you're 5 years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, and people find out you're attracted to a girl in school. They laugh at you. They laugh at you. They make fun of you. They're like, da, 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 sitting in a tree, completely diss you, and you're just like, oh. so you just like don't want to show anyone. Like you are afraid of letting people know that you're attracted to the girl unless you're 100% sure that either she's going to be attracted back to you, so it's like, oh, win-win sort of relationship, or at least she's hot, so everyone's <laughs> attracted to her, so it's like not, you're not like the outcast, but you're never going to let anyone know that like, yep, that one girl, I wish I was in a relationship with her, because people will mock you, diss you, and you're conditioned to not show you know, what's going on inside. You are conditioned like from a young age not to show like what you're feeling and what your true intentions are. And even coming into pickup, a lot of guys are like, wow, pickup, I can actually you know, learn how to get a girl without anyone else knowing. Like I can go to a club, meet a girl, pick her up without people knowing that I'm picking her up because I have the secret ways of doing it. I can pick her up without showing my true intentions and letting people know that I'm attracted to her, you know, until obviously she's attracted back. I can even go out and pick up a girl without her knowing that I'm picking her up. That's the mindset. That is the frame. It's like, I can go out. I got this now, this new secret technology to just go out and pick up a girl while hiding my intentions. And guys, like, that's the, way that the frame of mind that they come from. And when they go and talk to girls, they tend to come from a frame where it's very friend to friend, as opposed to being man to woman. They don't show her that they're actually attracted to the girl. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, like they try to justify it. Like, oh, yeah, I saw your dress, and I wanted to ask you, like, you know, where, where did you get your dress? And she's like, well, I got it at the store. And you're like, oh, she's talking. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, how, how, how was the store? Was it, was it like a nice store? And she's like, yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty nice. And you're like, cool. Was, was the salesperson nice to you, or was he kind of like mean? Did, did he know what he was talking about when he said the dress? Because I really like the cut. And she's like, yeah, he was, you know, he, was, he was good. And that's their interaction. They sing, yep, I'm holding the set. And then what do they do? They ask for the pity phone number. Okay, the pity phone number, this is the number one reason for flakes, is the guys don't set the right frame. They're like, can, can, I, can I have your number? You know, I want to ask for my sister. She wants a dress too. And she's like, okay, done. And they're like, oh, she flaked. She flaked. Or they go up to a girl, they chat, and then just out like, oh, can I just have your number? And the girl won't even give it. It's like, okay, I'm giving him my number to see him again. It's more coming from the frame of like, oh, I'm giving him my number to make him feel good, like a little prize for a dog. It's like, oh, he put all that effort. I don't want him to feel bad, or I want to get rid of him. Here's my number. And she has no intention of calling back ever, 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 ever. I was in Australia. Uh, it was like three weeks ago when I was in uh, Melbourne. And uh, I was talking to this girl. And we were outside. And she's like, I want a cigarette. I want a cigarette. And she ran up to this other guy. And she's like, oh, can I have a cigarette? And like caresses his shoulder, like the move. Like, can I have a cigarette? You're so hot. And the guy's like, girl's talking to me. Here, here's a cigarette. And then, and then he's like, so, like she wants to run back to me. And he's like, so, what's your name? And she gives him like the nice little pity names, the pity IOIs, like, oh, thanks so much, but I have to go to my friends. And she's like, well, do, do you want my number? And the guy's like, oh, uh -huh. number, and he gets the number. And then she runs back to me, just so he feels good. It's like the little prize for giving her the cigarette, the little prize. So you have to set the right frames. Now, in the general aspect of the interaction, that means letting her know that you're attracted to her letting her know what's going on inside. She has to know that you want her. It can't be like friend to friend where you get back home and you're like suddenly, oh, actually I actually have a dick. And she's like, what the fuck? Like she didn't even know, okay? <laughs> or it's like, oh, I thought you were asking me about my dress. What the fuck? Or it's like the typical guy in society who's at work, and I'm sure this happened to all of you, like either in school or at your job, you had a crush on one of the girls there, okay? So you come from like scarcity, it's like, oh, the girl there, the only hot girl there. Even if she's not really that hot, you tend to have a crush on her because she's the hottest girl in that environment. And say you get an assignment with her, or you know, you're doing your homework with her, and you're like, fuck yeah, we're paired up in groups of two, it's finally me and the girl, we're getting that alone time I've always wanted, fuck, and you can't even think on the work, all you're thinking about is the girl. You're just like, oh, you're like watching her write, watching her type, watching her get her coffee, watching her go to her car, watching her walk, and you're like, whoa, my God, I love the girl. And then, like, <laughs> then you're like sitting there one day, okay, and this is like a Tyler imitation, you're sitting there, and the girl's like writing, and then she lifts her head to ask you a question, and out of the blue, you're like, <laughs> trying to go in for the kiss. And she's like, what the fuck? Why? Because your intentions were not clear. She didn't know that you even liked her, so it just like snaps her out of the blue. She has to know when you approach a girl that you want her, and when you get the number, she has to know that you're asking for the number to see her again. 